When it comes to abusive people, um, we always talk about how they isolate you from your friends. You don't have friends anymore. What usually happens is you have a couple of friends. And what kinds of friends are those? What kinds of people are allowed to stay in your life when they've worked so hard to make everyone else gone? Any friend that you have when you meet the abuser or anyone who comes along that maybe sees through them, calls them out on something, would maybe talk to you and be like, hey, I noticed this, this doesn't feel right to me. That abuser is gonna sabotage. They're gonna say, that person's jealous of us, that person's jealous of you, that person talks about you behind your back, blah, 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 and they're gonna turn you against that person. Not because you're an idiot, but because these tactics work and you end up losing the people who genuinely care about you and might have been able to help you. But then you have people who are allowed to stick around and this one, the person in this video is someone who followed me on Instagram, came into my life hot and heavy. Um, I met them in person and my abuser met them in person and very quickly was like, this person's not a threat. Very quickly did their judgment and was like, this person's, this person can stay. They can tell when someone's going to see them for who they are and those people, again, are immediately ousted, sabotaged, and they can tell when someone's gonna go along with their abuse tactics, when someone's going to be on their side when the abuse happens. Someone who's probably also toxic, someone who's not gonna see the red flags, someone who's gonna think the red flags are normal or acceptable, someone who's going to do the abuse for the abuser or with the abuser, those kinds of people are not your friend. They are just further pawns in the abuse. And